Hey everyone, it's Marco from Marco's Tech Talk, and today I'm going to make a video showing you guys um, basically how the mid-2010 MacBook Pro runs things. Uh, I went ahead and played CSGO on it, and Minecraft on it, and uh, ran a YouTube video on it, and um, also showed you guys the startup time of it. I got some comments uh, requesting to see stuff like that, so I went ahead and just threw this video together for you guys so you guys can actually see how it runs stuff today. And uh, yeah, if you guys do see anything else um, that you guys want to have tried out on this laptop, let me know and I'll see if I can make a video of it. But without further ado guys, we're gonna hop right into the video. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and do the boot up test now so you guys can see how fast it boots up. Um, I'll go ahead and leave this in real time so you guys can kind of see what it's like. So there you go guys, as you can see, um, it's pretty quick. Sometimes it's a little bit slower than others, I'm not really sure what decides that. I've seen it take longer than that, I've seen it be faster than that, but this is probably about on average what you're gonna get as far as the uh, speed goes with an SSD, or at the very least this particular SSD. Um, so I mean, it's kind of one of those things where your mileage may vary. Um, my mileage varies, like I said, so uh, make it that what you will. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into a couple game tests here. And All right, so some of you guys wanted to see this uh, Mac running CSGO. Um, it's actually really bad, um, which is expected. But um, I went ahead and lowered the settings all the way, as much as I could get them pretty much. Um, made it full screen, and then I put Steam's FPS counter up there. It took about three to five minutes for the game to actually launch. Um, and then I tried to play a game off camera just to see like if it was even worth doing and like I was getting one to three FPS with settings maxed out and then I realized whoops I gotta change that so this is gonna be the first game I try to play here um, with the settings as low as possible but it's not looking good for us here because like changing the settings changing it from um, windowed to full screen absolutely took so long that it's disgusting <laughs> um, and last time I loaded up DE Dust, right, I still call it DE Dust, it's not that anymore, but Dust 2, um, it took probably about three minutes to get past this screen too. That just goes to show you, I mean, an SSD can definitely speed things up as far as like general using the computer goes, but for gaming, I mean, like, if your computer is not very good for the standards of the game, it's, you know, the SSD isn't really going to help you out there because the processor, I mean, this is a Core 2 Duo, guys, I mean, this is old. And it loaded up much faster now, either, I'm not sure if it's because the settings were lower or because um, I'd already done it once or twice. But as you can see, we're spectating right now and we're getting a whopping 12 FPS, 17. I mean, this is, the smoke is just ruining the FPS, it looks like even more. Um, so, I mean, I gotta say guys, this is at 1280 by 800 resolution, which is the native for this uh, display here. Um, anything less probably just won't even look good. So I'm not going to really bother going lower than that. Um, so I would definitely say it's not playable at this point. Um, but we can we'll wait till this round ends here and then uh, go ahead and give it a try now. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to move around and see, but not looking very promising. Alright, here we go. Now it's me. I mean, I'll go ahead and buy something. An M4 that's typically pretty good. Alright. So we're getting 15 FPS, um, 23, oh, we got a little hit, and I and that is it. The micro stutters there were really bad. They're not even micro stutters, they're like extreme stutters. Pulling 16 FPS right now. Um, I know if I walk in there, I'm probably just going to die. Uh, let's see. Yep, and there's someone there, and, and like my input lag is incredible just because the frame rate is not keeping up with me at all oh my god I thought I actually got a kill there like I think I saw some hit markers on that guy but um, it would have been pretty funny if I would have got a kill I'm not gonna lie guys especially on this hardware 10 FPS and I think I'm gonna die right now yep and that's that um, so that was pretty bad 
Um, it is pretty bad. I would definitely not recommend this computer as a gaming PC, even for a game as light as CSGO. Um, you gotta keep in mind, CSGO I think came out like 2012, so this laptop is already like two years old, so. Um, anyway, yeah, let's move on to Minecraft. Alright guys, so here's Minecraft, Java Edition. Um, I tried to get a frame rate counter working on here, but I, I couldn't seem to figure out how to do it. It just wasn't working for me. Um, so, ended up not being able to do that, but you guys should still be able to at least tell kind of how choppy it is. Um, and all that stuff there. It takes a long time to load, it took a long time to boot up, but that's starting to become a trend with this computer here. Um, I do have the graphics settings set to fancy, or I'm sorry, to fast, because fancy is just kind of unnecessary when you're trying to run on old hardware. It's just, I mean, all you're doing is kind of messing yourself up there when it comes to frame rate. So, uh, yeah. Give us a few more seconds here, and uh, we'll be able to load up in game and see what we're dealing with. Um, let's see what it looks like here. Alright, so, as you guys can see, it looks like the, the loading times of the textures is kind of, uh, taking a while. Um, but overall, it's actually, uh, not too bad. Um, I would say it's probably playable. Um, I've never played Minecraft Survival before, so I'm not sure really what that entails differently than this. I just thought Creative was maybe the most taxing, because you can move around like this and have stuff load up. It's really not bad, like... I don't think it's a 60 FPS, but it's definitely not like a slideshow. So like 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 the way CS:GO was. I mean, let's see. I mean, it's definitely uh, like it's not incredible, but I would say it's probably playable. Someone will try this game out with ray tracing. Because that would uh, probably be pretty incredible to <laughs> see this game like that. Let's see, I can't remember how to get the inventory. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm going to maybe take some some wood. Actually, no, let's take some, uh, some of this plank stuff here. And see what, what all that's like to place. Probably not bad. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's probably playable. I mean, you guys kind of be the judge of that. Wish the frame rate counter was working so you guys could actually see it, but I mean it doesn't seem that bad to me and, and the camera should be doing it justice. I mean my videos don't I mean because I record them in 4K and and uh my phone does uh 4K at 30 FPS, so I mean the most you guys will see is 30 FPS anyway. But I mean you should still be able to get an idea of how it's running. Um seems to be doing pretty well though in my opinion, so um again I'll show you guys the graphic settings real quick. Um it's fast, and then have all this set, so this stuff set the way it is. Um, actually, I could turn stuff down even more. I didn't even realize there was this many choices. Uh, let's uh, just do this, and um, can I turn that off? I sure can. And then I don't, I don't, I'm gonna leave that alone. Alright, doesn't really seem to be that different, uh, although I think it's a little bit less, like, kind of like drop in frames, like less 1% and 0.1% lows, I guess you could say. Like I said, I wish I had some kind of actual statistics counter so we could actually figure all that stuff out, but it definitely seems to be running a little bit better. The clouds off and the other stuff off, I mean, I guess it's still not perfect. I mean, there you can kind of see how much it drops, but... Overall, I would say you could probably play Minecraft on this pretty comfortably, um, especially with the settings all the way turned down, because, uh, you know, this game came out, like, in the late 2000s. I remember playing this game in, like, 08, and, like, on a 17-inch uh, MacBook Pro with way less specs than this has, so. Then again, the game has advanced over the years, so I don't know. But anyway, guys, all right, let's go ahead and uh, try something else out on here and see how it does it. Alright guys, so I even had some questions about how well this thing runs YouTube videos. We're at 1080p here, we'll launch stats for nerds. Um, it's one of my videos, obviously. And so far we've dropped zero frames, which is pretty awesome. Um, like, again, this is going to be at 1080p at 30fps. Um, I generally record things in 4K, but I don't know, for some reason YouTube doesn't seem to either see that, or maybe on this computer it doesn't work, I'm not really sure, but not a big deal, but I do record stuff in 4K on my phone. Um, and all that stuff there. It'd be funny if, like, all this time I wasn't, and, like, 
my phone like switch the settings back or something funny like that. But either way, I mean, it's a phone camera, so even 4K doesn't look that different from 1080p in my opinion. But either way, um, so again, like I said, 1080p, 30fps, like like we're seeing here, and uh, haven't dropped a single frame yet. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this passes the YouTube test as well. Um, your mileage may obviously vary depending on the videos you watch and all that stuff there, but this runs pretty well. Um, so anyway, you guys, uh, that's pretty much going to sum it up. I appreciate you watching the video. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and go ahead and leave some comments down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see this laptop doing anything else, just let me know and uh, I'll see what I could do. Maybe make another video on that. Thanks a lot for watching.